Commissioner of Public Safety. Atlanta police say they aren't positive when is, psychic so Dorothy Allison may be coming to Atlanta. But on the phone today, Mrs. Allison told me she's anxious to find this killer and said it will be easy for her to do. She told me the next three days are going to be crucial and told me some of the feelings she's had about the case. And I would be very uh, suspicious of anybody with red cars. The color of the vehicle will be red. It could be a wagon or anything, but anything that is a red color, I would be very careful of. And you know, around these kids, a couple of them, I saw orange and gold. Now, that could be that they had a gold T-shirt on or an orange T-shirt, or it could be a street by the name of gold. I got feelings of castle and king. She did not say anything about the intersection of Ashby and Simpson. This is where a witness told police he saw the abduction of another child. There has been no report yet, though, of another missing child. But today, Police Chief George Knapper told Camille Bell they were investigating fully. Is there any reason right at this point, since we're only talking about less than 24 hours ago, to think that anything didn't happen? I mean, you know, like, um... Well, we're presuming that something happened until we get information to the contrary. Okay. Mrs. Bell, the mother of victim Yusef Bell, was part of a group which today announced a series of programs, recreational and educational, they hope will help keep kids off the street. They are especially excited about a new citywide children's choir. That will get organized on Saturday at Central United Methodist Church. The group will also sponsor a march on Sunday, October 5th, beginning here at Auburn and Hilliard Streets and going to Central City Park. The coalition says it hopes that the march and the rally afterwards will inspire parents to become more aware of where their children are 24 hours a day. Hank Philippi, Action News.